have uh, America's mayor coming up here. We have Rudy Giuliani on the line. Who's that? All right, there you are, Mr. Giuliani. How do you prefer to be referred to, uh, Mr. Giuliani? You prefer mayor? You prefer Rudy. Rudy. Well, like un- Mayor Giuliani. She likes Mayor Giuliani, and I like Rudy. <laughs> okay, I just heard her say Mayor Giuliani. I don't want to say Rudy because then Gerald's going to get all aroused. He went to Notre Dame and think of that crappy film where the guy didn't deserve to be on the field. Call me Rudolph, like my mother did. There you go. Oh, did she do that when you were in trouble? No, no, she called me that all the time. Well, that's, a, said, that's what I named you, and that's what I'm going to call you. Well, that's a, that's actually was a distinct name until that little prick reindeer had to ruin it for the rest of you. So made, made my made my kindergarten very tough. I can imagine. Yeah, just ask Blitzen. Now, Mayor Giuliani, um, you're in the same office, I believe. One time when we one of the, the the times you were a guest on this program, and we last spoke. And by the way, people can, of course, you can listen to his podcast at uh, Rudy Giuliani's Common Sense. You can listen to where our podcasts are. You can follow him on Twitter at Rudy Giuliani. Okay, there you go. Because I, I, I didn't want to say Mayor Giuliani and then get the plug wrong. Um, let me first ask you something before we get to you having been raided. This is why I wanted to have you on because you have first-hand experience. Uh, is this unprecedented? Pardon me? Is this unprecedented, what they've done with... Uh, uh, unbe- un- incredibly unprecedented in many different ways. Uh, first of all, it's the first time that a president has authorized, and of course his administration, a criminal action against his predecessor. Right. I mean, we've had uh, uh, a couple of centuries of history, and we've avoided the practice in banana republics and fascist states of uh, the practice of putting your predecessor in prison. And uh, this is the first time any president has ever done that. I mean, even even when Trump was confronted with lock her up, lock her up, lock her up, every place he went, he never never restarted the criminal case against Hillary Clinton. Right. And she wasn't president. She was just not sleeping with him. But I mean, she was the secretary of state and the wife of the president and and his and his opponent. So uh, we're breaking an unwritten rule that has kept us a democracy and kept us a different than a fascist state. Also, you can't see this in a vacuum. Right. They've been hounding him for uh, they've been trying to frame him for a crime for seven years. Yes. They're not able to articulate what this crime is. This is some kind of alleged record violation. Yeah, they said mishandling of classified information. I want to make sure the audience hears it from you. A, a, a former, you know, a former president, right, just to be clear. Of course, m- many former presidents still have access to classified information. The media has tried to imply that that is somehow Ill- illegal. It's not. Their claim is that he wasn't handling it properly, right? Which I would imagine every single president putting together a presidential library makes that mistake a hundred times. Yes. This is this uh, this has never been pursued criminally ever before. This is again one of these things where they never have pursued anyone criminally but Trump people. I mean, the same thing was true with the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act until they got to Manafort. People got to pay fines for that. Right. Manafort went to jail and was put in solitary confinement for doing something that had just about never been prosecuted criminally. Here, here's the real issue. They've investigated this man for seven years and they can't find a real crime. Right. A crime that you and I would relate to as like stealing money, like Biden did. Like right. taking bribes. Right. Like uh, like uh, uh, carrying carrying around a thirty eight revolver when you're a drug addict, which is a 10-year felony. That's and like throwing it crime. in a trash can by a school. That's a real crime. Yeah. Uh, uh, being involved in a... Th- $3.1 million money laundering transaction where Biden, on record, gets $800,000 when he's the vice president of the United States. That's called bribery. That's right. a real crime. I can call. I can I can describe those crimes. This is a dispute over records are classified or not, or who gets to classify whether they're presidential. The reality is, he could, by taking them from the White House, that, that mere act alone could declassify all these papers. Right. The president gets to classify and declassify. Right. When he ordered their removal, he was the president. Yeah. Uh, number two, they stayed. The FBI padlocked this room a few weeks ago. Yeah. They just went and broke the padlock they put there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> they lost the key. Just it's like, like they flowers in the attic. You know, the idiot in front of Gates, Representative Gates, <laughs> who lost a hard drive. I know that. I, I sent out a tweet. I said, if you want a hard drive, I got a couple extra copies. Right. I, 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 
tried to give it to you when you raided my house and you didn't want it. Now they lost the hard drive. They went there a few weeks ago. They searched the whole place. They saw everything. They said it wasn't secure enough. So they put in an additional padlock, their own. Yeah. And when they came in, they didn't bring the key for it, so they had to crack it open. And they, looked at the, and they took the same things they looked at a couple of weeks ago. Well, to be fair, it may not have been secured well enough if the FBI uh, were, in fact, the ones securing it. You know, they probably that's, just... That's absolutely, that's absolutely... Like, uh, gym school lock. Yeah, let's just put that on there for the... Let's call it a day. And by the way, Hillary Clinton didn't just take documents. She took the W's off the keyboard when they were leaving. Which is kind of funny. It is kind of funny. <laughs> it was a com it's a combination. One of them just yeah. forgot the five. Yes, okay. exactly. Kind of funny. <laughs> so it is unprecedented... And it's a very, very damaging thing to do. I mean, we're just about at the end of really saying we have a fair system of justice. We I think we are at the end. We have two standards. This, uh, I mean, th 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 we've had for five years outstanding criminal cases against the Bidens. Yeah. Not, not just the son and the president, but the brother. None of them have been raided. None of them have been uh, searched. None of them have been have been uh, brought before a grand jury. None of them have been arrested. Right. Uh, meanwhile, the Trump people get searched, and then they don't find anything. Well, here's my then question, they because... Apologize. They haven't apologized to me. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, hold your breath for that. But let me ask you this. You, on this program, actually, was the first time the public saw the Hunter Biden laptop, and then we had you back on when the FBI raided your, you know, your, uh, your private offices. They didn't take that laptop... What did they take? They took they took all of the electronics in my house. Okay. And all of the electronics, and this is the really uh, constitutional violation, in my law office. Ah, uh, yeah. Much of which didn't relate to Donald Trump. Of course. That is a gross violation of the Sixth Amendment. Yeah. Uh, and the only lawyers who get searched are Trump lawyers. I never searched a lawyer when I was in the Justice Department. No. I always thought there was a Sixth Amendment called attorney-client privilege. Well, Biden has done away with that. No attorney-client privilege for Trump. Think about that double and standard. People who searched here, and they searched my law office. Yeah. Think and, about that. And they returned everything to me. Right. I have everything back. Because, they, as I told them then, have me come in and ask me questions, and I'll answer them. They took a year and a half to say yes to that. I finally went in. I spent four hours with them. And I... I, I what I told him at the beginning is true. I'm not stupid. I don't commit crimes. Right. I was a U.S. attorney for 17 years. I know what crimes are and what they're not. Now, you're going to go make up crimes on me. I can't do much about that. Right. But I don't commit crimes. I just don't. Well, think of the double standard. You have Republicans, you have conservatives out there, and this is what we're talking about. I mean, for crying out loud, Dinesh D'Souza had to wear an ankle bracelet because he gave money to a friend's campaign beyond the maximum allowable amount. Who lost, just to be clear? Again, these are things where usually someone gets fined, and if you're a Democrat, you don't get fined. But think about this. You're talking about attorney-client privilege, and it's something that I know very well. Conservatives, Republicans out there right now are afraid to even keep notes or what they discuss with their lawyer because even though it's their constitutional right, they're concerned that that could be raided. Meanwhile, Hunter and Ashley Biden leave a paper trail longer than a Circuit City receipt of every misdeed they've committed because there's no fear of retribution whatsoever. They'll walk right past the hard drive in your office to grab shit they have no right to grab from you. Pardon my language. <laughs> and they go out and say, I never spoke to any of my son's foreign clients. And there are 17 uh, uh, pieces of evidence of 17 different meetings with foreign clients, including Chinese communists, with Joe Biden when he was the vice president, yeah. uh, disgustingly selling his office. This guy got $31 million from China. I know. China's our enemy. That's not a national security problem. <laughs> and a couple of papers sitting behind padlocks in Mar-a-Lago that nobody even knows what they are? What kind of national security do they be?